Hi, Miles. So let's take a look at this um, set of essays you have here. This is about the IELTS scores. Here's what you wrote. The bar chart illustrates the average band score in four different tests. Listening, careful, reading, writing, or speaking. Well, it's not or, it's and. For men and women taking the academic IELTS in 2012, overall females had generally a higher score than males for all tests. The writing test had the lowest band score for both genders, while listening, careful here please, and writing had the highest. Okay, fine. Uh, women's band score for listening and reading was 6.1, while men's results were 0.3 points, point lower. That's fine. The difference between men and women was smaller for the speaking test as they held only 0.1. Uh, difference, you could have said, not of difference. Women have got on average 5.9 and men 5.8. Male results were similar for the listening. You keep spelling this wrong. Um, reading spelled wrong and speaking while women scored, not worth scoring, scored less for the speaking than for the two others. Two others what? Uh, ah, okay, for the, okay, for the reading and spe speaking, I assume you mean here, fine. Women and men had on average lower results in the writing test as females had usually minus 0.3. What does that mean, minus 0.3? between speaking and writing test whilst men had the lowest scoring of all tests, which was 5.4. All right, that was a little confusing to me. Let's see, let me look at the actual data here. Here it is. Yeah, this part is a little confusing. You said minus three points, but um, I think I know what you're trying to say, but you're trying to say that it had 0.3 lower than speaking and writing or then speaking. I think that's what you're trying to say, but you have to know that it's just a very unclear way of saying this, so definitely aim for clarity here, okay? Um, then what you said about the men was clear. That was no problem at all, all right? Um, I think you handled this one well. I like the way you organized it, generally speaking. So you had your overview, you had listening and reading and speaking here, and then here you had um, writing. You could have separated it a little differently, You so you could have had the two that were more similar, in other words, listening and reading here in one paragraph and then dedicated your next paragraph to these two. That was another way to do it. But I'm not going to say that what you did was necessarily wrong because essentially you lumped leading, read, sorry, I can't speak, reading and listening together. And that, that was fine too. All right. So, uh, fine job. No problems. Let's take a look here at this essay about art. Here is what you said. Um, spend things on money other than art. Fine. Governments throughout both the developing and developed world have been spending an important amount of money on art. I personally believe this money could be used for other purposes such as finding ways, S, to reduce stress at work. This essay will discuss both views by using examples from an Oxford University study and a French governmental study to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Fine. On the one hand, pieces, S. No, your S. <laughs> Pieces of S, such as fountains, sculptures, or pictures can be used to make an environment attractive. The reason behind this is people like seeing sculptures and walk around fountains that make a lovely noise and make them feel relaxed. For instance, careful with your spelling here, you just wrote resent, but you really mean recent with an C. For instance, a recent Oxford University study showed that people find art relaxing and having a piece of art near their place. Careful with that word place, it doesn't really mean anything. Near their where? Near their job, near their home, um, in their surroundings. You can make it even more general. That would be fine. Uh, can enhance their well-being. Therefore, art can probably be used to improve the population's, apostrophe S here, uh, quality of life. Okay, that's fine. Um, you could have said something about quality of life here too. You said to make an environment attractive, which improves well-being overall. All right, that would have been a nice if you had said it. It definitely makes it more, definitely makes it more relevant to the actual task. Okay, it's fine. Um, you might have been able to develop this, I think, a touch further. Um, if you look at this paragraph and your introductory paragraph, you'll find that they're pretty much the same length. Um, and I always advise students to make sure that their body paragraphs are longer than their introductions because that's where really you need to be focusing on developing and, and writing and so forth, okay? Your body paragraphs and much less so in your introduction and in your conclusion, all right? So when you see them uh, being around the same length, that's a sign that 
one has been developed too much and the other one has probably not been developed enough. Okay? So, let's move on. On the other hand, a large part of the active population can sometimes feel stressed or burned out at work. Employees push their staff members to achieve company's goals. We usually say company goals, make it a singular um, and it becomes an, a an adjective like that. So to achieve company goals or to be more productive, which can be harmful for employees' health and well-being, careful here, this should be employees plural. So S and then apostrophe. Unfortunately, only a small amount of the governmental budget is allocated to the research allocated for the research of a solution for this problem. A French governmental study shows that only 2% of the country's budget is allocated for the prevention of professional risks. As a result, the number of people who have issues at work increase and the government is unable to provide a sustainable, to provide sustainable solutions to limit it. Okay, so uh, well, what you wrote is, is fine in terms of the language and it's clear about what you're saying, but you didn't really link it back to the, the, the topic. You didn't link it back to the prompt, okay? Governments should spend money on things other than art. So um, you needed to link it back to that concept. So um, on the other hand, um, many members of the population feel that the government should be um, focused on uh, allocating money to other um, areas such as uh, mental health. Uh, part of this is because part of the, the reason for this is because people feel stressed and burned out and then extend it and then go into that. But you have to kind of link it back to why we're talking about this. Why? I mean, what's the prompt? What is the question? What is the issue being asked? What's the framework that you've been given to discuss this issue? And why are you talking about, um, government budgets and allocations? Okay. So make it relevant. Uh, say all this stuff that you said, but then, you know, go back to, they should spend things on, they should spend money on things other than art. All right. So from the arguments and examples provided, it can be concluded that if, if governments were focusing on social issues, quality of the population's apostrophe as life would probably improve. I think art is not a priority and the budget allocated to it should be minimum. All right. That's fine. Um, I think that for me, the biggest issue is this, that you had some nice ideas, but you didn't really appropriately frame them. And so it was kind of hard to figure out where you were going with this or why it was relevant. So that's something I would like you to revise. Okay. So it looks like this was your last set of essays. So uh, good job on the whole. Um, if there's something else we can help you with, if we can um, give you any more essays to help you and to give you more feedback, we're happy to do so. Uh, please reach out to us if that's something you would like us to do. Wish you lots of luck. Um, do keep in touch and let us know how you do. Uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Good luck.